Hello and welcome back to the Excel automation tool. So today I'm going to show you a data entry user form where we can see our daily basis required some features. So I am going to open our required form. There you can see our database sheet where data will be inserted there and also as well as you can see a drop down sheet. So there you can see the software column and we will show later how this auto suggestion module work. And also this is will be the dependency drop down list. You can see there, this is director and this dependency wise, this director administration to director finance will be show. Another else, this is head and this is another drop down list. And when you select the director, this department code will be show. When you select the account and based on account, the account code will be show. Okay, so first of all, we need to customize this as per requirement wise data will be insert there. And we need to maintain this department, department code and account wise account code so this is our all our is drop down list so this is should be the auto suggestion mode and this is also our dependency drop down list okay so after completing the drop down list we are going to open our user form so this is our open user form button we need to click this okay there you can see this is database management form and this is should be the upcoming feature and we are going to click this there is our required input field and we are going to input something else for example, I'm inputting just any word, then our related all word will be suggestive. So you can input this, anyone, as per your requirement wise, and click this. And then you need to press the tab, and we are going to the next input field. So we are inputting this one, and this is the invoice date. So you can type this format wise data, otherwise, you can select from this calendar icon. Okay, and this is net, that means this is the amount. And this is the dependency drop down list. So if you click the department, then department code will be automatically fill up and based on director account will be shown. So if you change, for example, I am changing as a head, then you can see account list will be changed. So you can change it as per your requirement as an upfront computing code will be automatically generated from the department code and account code. And this is another date format data. So you can change as per your requirement wise. So after completing and inputting all the information, you need to click the add new information. Okay, so information added successfully. All information will be shown there. So you can search your information and you can search by criteria wise or a specific criteria wise you can search. So I am just clicking the as a invoice number and this is the 12345, 12345 and I am clicking the search. This search by wise data will be shown. So you can see there is how many data I show there. So we can refresh and you can also search by invoice date wise and when you click this then this is the start date and end date so between two date data will be show there so another feature is update and delete option so if as per your requirement is you can change any information for example i am changing this and director or finance okay okay just need to click the update button and information updated successfully so if you want to see there okay so update data is show there so as well as you can delete information by delete button and so there you can see this is our inverse number so this should be the unique for example if you want to add multiple times then we can see this is duplicate found error alert showing so this invoice number should be unique okay as well as if you want to download this information so you just need to download Okay, so report download successfully. If you want to see there, you can go to the folder and this is the downloaded information. Okay, we can see there, close it and now again open the user form. And this is our plus and minus account for fit the user form. So if you want to decrease the user form, just need to the minus icon. And if you want to increase the user form, just click to the plus icon. After all the required action taken, you can exit. So just click the exit button and this workbook will be closed. So if you want to download this tool, you can go to the our Excel automation tool platform. So this is our download platform and there are lots of tools available there. You can download as per requirement wise and you can also customize it. And if you need any assist, please let us know. We can assist you. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.